Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. All you who hear, now to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Well, today we come together on a very, very cold fifth Sunday of Ordinary Time. As we uh, come together, we come uh, together in the warmth of God's love, and we begin our celebration by giving glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, glory to God, and on earth peace to peace. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may de be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not a man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed, I say, when shall I rise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The word of the Lord. Sing praise to God, for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. The dispersed of Israel he gathers. He heals the brokenhearted and blinds up their wounds. He tells the number of stars. He calls each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Praise the Sing praise to God, for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed upon me. And woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But 
if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although, although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I became weak to win over the weak. I have begun all things to all to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go, let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. This week we have another Super Bowl weekend in which Vikings and I guess this year Packer fans have to choose another team to root for. Uh, I am going with the Kansas City Chiefs uh, because I lived down there for a few years, but I enjoy watching the man-child, Patrick Mahomes, uh, be able to reach uh, any part of the field with a pass and that slinging sidearm throw he has. He does it with his right hand. Um, but uh, it, he, at times he just looks like a big kid out in the backyard uh, playing a football game, having fun. And, uh, but also, one has to respect the old goat, as they, uh, the goat as they call him, greatest of all time, Tom Brady, or at least his teammates call him that, uh, who in his first year, after many before uh, on his, with the Patriots, but this year, his first year, he leads the Buccaneers to their first Super Bowl in 19 years. So talented teams for sure. But we know who the real heroes are at this year's game. And they are the 7,500 vaccinated healthcare workers that, uh, who were invited by the NFL to join the game in person. They represent the ones uh, for whom we can all cheer, the countless COVID heroes who have been on the front line and at the bedside uh, of those who are fighting so hard to live and breathe the doctors, the nurses, and all those who get up each day with all kinds of emotions, uh, still tired, and yet still make it to work. There they would be a part of either an incredible uh, recovery for some, or sadly, after doing everything they knew that was right, 
uh, giving every chance there was, COVID would still take the life of someone who was loved. It's such a heavy, heavy year, and so many this year can identify with Job in our first reading, who talks about uh, life as a drudgery, uh, feeling as he have, has been assigned months of misery, wondering if he would see happiness again. So there's always something that everyone has, a little feeling for Job. Uh, one of the great things about Scripture is that it does not shy away from the entire and real range of emotions that people experience. But the stories of hardship, lament, suffering, and trial exist uh, to, uh, for us today because there is something greater, greater to be mindful of. We know that as tough as things got, and while he complained a lot, I mean a lot, to God, Job stopped short at cursing God. He kept the faith, and there would be a reward. So in the end, even after losing so much, Job would experience goodness again. St. Paul uh, would also go through so much, uh, but he too kept the faith. He kept going, and the reward for him was keeping the gospel alive. And finally, in the Gospel uh, of Mark, as always, it's Jesus on the move. He's preaching, he's driving out demons, he's healing the sick, and, and notice he would still make time, even in, in the busyness of everything, for, uh, to go off and pray. But as more and more would crowd him or pursue him, he would recognize that it would be time to move on. He would say to his disciples, Let's keep going, as there are other villages to, vis to visit throughout the whole of Galilee. So all of these are godly examples of perseverance, and they are encouragement for us to keep going. So we are grateful for all the healthcare workers, the first responders, the family members, the teachers, people behind the counter and behind the scene, uh, all of those who keep us going. Uh, thank you. And while we are understandably uh, more hopeful these days with the arrival of the vaccines, it is still very, uh, very heavy for so many who are still in the midst of their own drudgery. But again, the reward uh, of perseverance is something better than a Super Bowl. It is the lives saved, the families consoled, and so many uh, p good points made for humanity. All the unsung heroes in our world show us a power that we have in ourselves. And just as Jesus kept on going, with his grace and witness, may we do the same, knowing that there is a reward and remembering something that Job eventually learned, that no matter what, if we keep the faith, the faith will keep us. And let us call upon the Lord to sustain us in the challenges and needs of our world as we ask to receive God's everlasting love. For the suffering of the world, that the story of Job may offer them hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we always be a part of the crowd that is looking for Jesus as our way, our truth, and our light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the good news of God's word stay with us in our everyday needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for progress against the COVID virus, may we soon gain the comfort of being together once again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus' love and healing will comfort the sick, especially Dr. Peter Daly, Dick Anderson, Chris Burke, Jean Sheffer, John Ormy, and Chris Klein, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That everlasting life will be given to those who have died, especially Linda Turi, Andrew Freustad, Ronald Jarich, and Beverly Anderson, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Brooke Madama, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
O God of healing and compassion, listen to our prayers and bring comfort to those finding life difficult and with little hope. Renew them and all of us in your healing love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew's assistant, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a COVID-appropriate sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And with those who join us virtually, we pray a act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. Stay warm and safe in this polar, vor uh, this polar vortex. We haven't seen it in a while, um, so uh, be careful and stay well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, be There is a boy.